New Year, which means new gear. Let's get into it. What's up, Dirt Junkies? If you're new here, my name is Jeff, and thank you for stopping by Dose of Dirt, where we love all things backpacking, hiking, and trail running. I love getting new gear, so I'm stoked to share with you some of my recent purchases that will be changing my trail experience in big and small ways for the upcoming year 2022. But before we get to those, I'd love to know any new gear purchases you have made for the upcoming year or some that you're still looking at but haven't quite pulled the trigger yet. Let me know in the comments down below and then I'll show you what I've gotten for 2022. All right, there's no great way to order these, so I decided we'll just go from cheapest the most expensive. Also, I'll include links in the description below for all of these items. Let's talk about the first one. First up are my Wise Owl Outfitters aluminum tent stakes. Now, tent stakes seem pretty boring as far as a gear purchase goes, but I actually put a lot of thought into what stakes I wanted to purchase for one of my other new gear items that we'll get into later. So why did I settle on the Wise Owl Outfitters aluminum tent stakes? Well, first of all, I could get 16 of them for just $16.95. I was looking at a lot of other stakes. I considered titanium, other aluminum ones, Y stakes, V stakes, but eventually settled on these because they seemed very similar to the MSR Groundhog, but a lot cheaper. I knew that I needed at least 12 stakes and this was the best way to go. Unfortunately, I actually did bend one. It's sitting right up here on the shelf. Not sure if you spotted that on my very first use, but I think that was my fault. I was pushing on it at the wrong angle and it bent. I have used these stakes several other times, including most recently, just this last weekend on a freezing backpacking trip with my brother. So other than that first initial bend, which was my fault, these stakes have been fantastic and I'm pretty happy with the purchase. Next up at $18 is something a little funky, my Injinji Toe Socks. You've probably heard about these from other people who've tried them. I thought they were maybe a little gimmicky, but they seem like they could solve some blister problems for me, and I will tell you that I love them. I've actually been using them for a few months now, but haven't really talked about them on the channel. I used to have a few spots in my feet where I would get blisters very often, but since I started wearing Injinji Toe Socks, that has never happened. These are the only socks that I have worn for trail running, backpacking, hiking, since I tried them. I love these socks. If you haven't tried them, you might want to give them a shot. And next in the order of price is my Tokes Titanium 750 milliliter pot. The price on this is $34.95. I purchased this because I've been looking at some ways to save some weight in my pack and the aluminum pot that I was using was pretty heavy. The Tokes Titanium was a great way to save just a little amount of weight and I just like it a lot more than my previous aluminum pot. This is the only pot or cup or mug that I take on my backpacking trips now working fantastic. And next up are my Cascade Mountain Trek carbon fiber trekking. Away. According to SkiEssentials.com, it also doesn't use metal, rather relies on aerospace grade carbon fiber to deliver its impressive performance. Alexa's telling us what carbon fiber is, I think. <laughs> Dang, Alexa. It's not funny, stop laughing. You've enunciated a lot. At least somebody listens to me in this house. <laughs> Hope she can keep you warm at night. <laughs> Oh, she can't. <clears throat> Next up are my Cascade Mountain Tech carbon fiber trekking poles. These are currently $51.99 on Amazon. I picked these up again for one of my other new gear purchases. I have not used these as trekking poles yet, but I have used them to pitch a tent. They worked great. I'm looking forward to getting more used to using trekking poles as I hike or even on my trail runs. But I was on the fence on getting them when I saw several other people who I follow here on YouTube recommend them, including Taylor at Southern Hike. So thanks Taylor and the others that recommended these trekking poles. So far, they've been great. And the next gear purchase is actually hanging behind me right here. Let me grab it really quick. This is a 3F UL Gear Ultralight Frameless Backpack. I picked it up on AliExpress for just $63. It's super light and frameless, and I'm looking forward to trying this out for a budget gear loadout. I'd also never tried a frameless pack before, so I really wanted to try that. As you can see, the price tag is still on it. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but it will see some use very soon. I should also mention that all of these are items that I have purchased myself with my own money. None of these were given to me for free by the companies or anybody else. These are all things that I purchased with my own money. There you go. Uh, oh, now let's talk about some sleep system items. This is the Pariah Outdoor Products, Pariah, whoa. No, it's Paria. I found out I've been saying it wrong. Sorry, Paria. I almost said Pariah. Sorry, Paria. I've been saying your name wrong in several other videos. Sorry about that. Paria, not Pariah. 
I'm probably gonna say it wrong, but yes. This is the Perea Outdoor Products Recharge XL. It's a fantastic sleeping pad that I bought to use during the winter. The cost for the Perea Recharge XL is $89.99. I have another video where I compared this pad to another budget winter sleeping pad. I'll put a link to that right up here in this corner in case you're interested. But this pad has been great. It's four inches thick, 23 inches wide, and nice and tall. So I'm very comfortable on this pad, even down to below freezing temperatures. The Perea Outdoors Recharge XL. Got it late last year and it's already seen quite a bit of use. And next are two items that I actually don't have in my possession yet. One is a pair of shoes, the other is a pair of boots. As you all know, I'm a big fan of zero drop wide toe box trail runners for whatever my trail activities are, whether it be running, backpacking, or hiking. I really prefer to be in a zero drop wide toe box trail runner. Ultra, the king of wide toe box zero drop shoes, has unfortunately let me down in the durability department. So I've been looking elsewhere for a nice, durable, comfortable zero drop wide toe box shoe. I feel like I've said zero drop wide toe box a ton of times. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so I actually have another pair coming from a company you may have never heard of called Lems. They're most popular for their Boulder outdoor waterproof boot, but I actually ordered a set of trail runners from them that I'm looking forward to trying out for trail running, backpacking, and hiking. The price of the Lems Primal Pursuit Trail Runners is $130. They should get here later next week, and I will definitely show them to you guys when I get them. Next up is another pair of shoes. I guess I'm gonna have to say Zero Drop Wide Toe Box again, or actually boots from Zero Shoes. It is the Alpine Men's Waterproof Boot. Now, I picked these up because on my last backpacking trip just this last weekend with my brother, my feet were freezing because my trail runners were not waterproof. Yes. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. I'm an idiot. So I swore I would order some waterproof zero drop wide toe box boots that I could wear on my next winter backpacking trip. There's a lot of reasons why I chose the zero shoes. Again, I'll let you guys know how they work out. The price of the zero shoes Alpine waterproof boot is $164.99. Now back to some things that I actually do have in my possession. And first up is this quilt from Perea Outdoors, not Perea. This is their 15 degree backpacking quilt, which I picked up off of Amazon for $169. I had never used a quilt before I purchased this one, but I'd heard that they're much more comfortable, especially if you roll around quite a bit in your sleep, which I definitely do. So I wanted to try out a quilt and I can tell you that I love it. I'm still not convinced that it will work for those really cold winter backpacking trips, but if it's not going to be too cold, the quilt is definitely my preference. I'm still testing it out. I wanna see how cold I can get it before I do a video on it, but I'm loving this quilt so far. And clearly this is the Perea show. Maybe it's just because I needed to make up for all the times that I pronounced their name wrong, but this is the Perea Zero Degree Thermodown Sleeping Bag. I picked this up late last year as well. I swear I'm not sponsored by Perea or any of these other companies. They just seem to have high quality, low cost gear, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. It is also $170. I haven't been able to find this on Amazon, but you can order it from their website. The link to this sleeping bag, as well as all these other gear items is below, whether you can get it on Amazon or somewhere else. I love this sleeping bag. I've taken it down to very cold temperatures. It's the bag that I took on my last backpacking trip last weekend that I keep mentioning. It's a fantastic sleeping bag. Perea is knocking it out of the park for me. All right, if you're still here, thank you for sticking with me. I have two more gear items to show you or to tell you about, and they are the most expensive. I'm just gonna tell you that I only purchased these two gear items because I actually sold my mountain bike when we moved from Utah to Virginia. So far, I'm really happy with selling my bike and being able to purchase some of these other gear items, but that's the only way that I could fund these two purchases. First up is another new backpack. Yes, I have a problem, but it's the Z-Pax Arc Hall, and it's hanging right here. If you watched my winter gear loadout video, you know that I took this backpack on my most recent winter backpacking trip. I will put a link to that video right up here since I keep mentioning it. But so far, I love this backpack. Since I'm telling you how much all these things cost, I do have to tell you that this one set me back $325. But just based on my first trip, it was absolutely worth that cost. And last, but certainly not least, especially in the way of price, is my Z-Pax Triplex tent. Now, I don't have it down here with me where I'm recording because it's actually up in the garage drying off from 
my last weekend backpacking trip. I did an entire video detailing why I chose this ultralight three person tent over the others available on the market. I'll put a link to that video right up here. I love this tent. It held up under some pretty serious snow, keeping us dry and warm inside of our sleeping bags. And it saves me a lot of weight in my pack. This tent did set me back $700. Super light, lots of room, works really, really well. That tent is going to see a lot of adventures during 2022, as will all of this gear that I've shown you. If you haven't already, please head down to the comments and tell me what new gear you have for 2022. Talking about gear is almost as fun as using it in the backcountry. Remember, life is better with some dirt in it. New year, new... My name is Jeff, and thank you by stopping by Dose of Dirt. Thank you by stopping by. Mm -hmm. You wear them all the time. You don't wear any other socks. I know. Just saying. That sounds stupid. Yeah, look